Hey, how's it going? My name is Robbie, and I'm one of the members of the Beaver Builder team. We're doing a tutorial today on how to install and activate Beaver Builder. So if you're watching this tutorial, you're probably new to Beaver Builder. Uh, so we wanted to take this opportunity to say hello and thank you and welcome. We're really glad to have you. Okay, let's jump right into it. After purchasing Beaver Builder, you will have access to an account page just like this one. You can reach this page by logging in at our website and clicking on the account link. And from here, we can download our Beaver Builder theme and plugin. And we also have access to the license key, which we can use to activate the software for automatic updates. So let's go ahead and copy this to the clipboard because we're going to need it later and get started by downloading the plugin and the theme. You'll see Beaver Themer down here if you decided to purchase Beaver Themer. It's not included with our regular packages, so if you didn't purchase it separately, uh, you will not be seeing that down here. Okay, moving on, we have a fresh WordPress install here, and we're gonna navigate to the plugins section of the WordPress admin area and we're going to install the plugin by clicking Add New, Upload Plugin, and then we'll go choose the plugin file that we just downloaded. Now, be sure to select the plugin and make sure you're not trying to install the theme in the plugins area or vice versa. You will get an error message if you try to install a theme as a plugin or a plugin as a theme. So we're going to open that, hit Install, we will be hitting activate. And then we will be greeted by a nice welcome screen here. On the welcome screen, you can find some helpful information. You can find links to our documentation down here. And also you can find links to the Beaver Builders group on Facebook and on Slack. Uh, if you use either Facebook or Slack, we really recommend you come by and say hello or not. Just uh, stop by and see what's going on in both of these groups. We have a great community of users that use Beaver Builder, and we'd love for you to join us. It's a great place to ask questions or share your projects, and it's a, yeah, it's a fun group. So to get started, we're going to enter our license key by clicking on the license section here and then pasting the license key that we got from the previous page. If you don't remember, the license key is right here above your downloads. Okay, the license key was saved, the settings are updated. So the next step is gonna be installing the Beaver Builder theme. To do that, we're gonna to go to appearance and click on themes. Then we're gonna click add new, upload theme, choose a file, and again, we're gonna make sure to grab the Beaver Builder theme. Click open and install. Now, once you've entered your license key for the plugin, you don't need to enter a license key for anything else, either the theme or Beaver Themer. There's only one license key and only one section to enter it. Now, we could go on and install the child theme, but for now, we're just gonna get started on creating our first page. So we're gonna to go to the Pages section. We're gonna hit Add New. We're gonna call this one Our First Page. And then we're gonna click this tab that says Page Builder to open up the Page Builder. And that's it. You are now in Beaver Builder and you're ready to start working on your first page. If you'd like, and it's your first time using Beaver Builder, you can take a quick guided tour through the software or you can click no thanks and jump right into it. You have access to modules, row layouts, templates, and then if you in the future save any of your modules or layouts, you'll see those here. So we'll go ahead and click one of these and we'll automatically load up and you can get started by editing text or adding photos or building the web page of your dreams with Beaver Builder. Okay. We're going to end this tutorial here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.